Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, yep, my full battery. Going fishing. So today is a little bit foggy. Been working on the house. House is in escrow. We got about uh, 45 days left and uh, we should be moving. So there's a seagull down there trying to eat my bait. Water's nice and calm. It's an hour or so past high tide. Uh, one, two, I think there's a third guy out there. Yeah, there's two guys right there, one over there already kayaking. There's Nevin. Yeah. And we're down here at the groin. Easiest place to launch a kayak. Very nice and calm, easy entry, easy exit. Not an issue. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna go catch us some fish. Might be a little choppy, a little windy. Uh, I think we're gonna try and troll South Beach and see if we can hook into a halibut or a shark or something. So stick around, let's go catch some fish. Okay, I'm out on the water and uh, Nevin's on his way down. I think I got everything, safety equipment, radio, life vest. Burnt my dry suit for a second there. So we're set. We're gonna cruise uh, South Beach. There's three guys out there, like I said earlier. And uh, we're gonna try this out. Because last time I hooked into that shark, I made some uh, different leaders. And uh, Hopefully we can hook into another shark and identify it because <laughs> I couldn't identify that last one. It just rolled in the water. So let's go do it. Seal right there splashing around. He's had something in his mouth. It looked like he had something on him. Uh, let me get this straight a little bit here. Ugh. I hope he's not tangled in that crab pot line there. Yeah, oh, see. Fuck, he's tied up in that goddamn thing. Yeah, he is. How big is he? The size of my kayak? Yeah, no, we. <laughs> there's no way we can save him. Yeah, he's got into that crab pot and got it wrapped around his neck. Uh, I <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Do we call it in? Who do you call? Coast Guard, I guess. Non-emergency channel. How do you call in Coast Guard? I uh you just go Coast Guard, Coast Guard, Coast Guard. Uh non-emergency he uh, he's probably down there still I mean they can hold their breath for a while there he is I don't know if he's, tied up, dude. he's swimming pretty good that that buoy doesn't seem to be moving but he's still got that crap pot on his neck is it on his neck? It looks like it. When he comes up, he'll come up again probably somewhere right there. I don't know if you can reverse out of it or what. Yeah, I can. I'm in reverse right now. No, the seal. Oh. I don't know if he can pull back out of the, the crab pot or not. I just had something tug my line. Fuck, 
So we just saw a seal. He's got a crab pot ring uh, around his neck. He seems to be doing all right. He's way too big for us to handle in kayaks. So there's no chance of us trying to get that off unless he's on the beach where we can actually trap him. But, uh, well, it happens when people leave their crab pots out here and don't pick them up. But uh, hopefully he'll be okay later on. Get off. Woo! <laughs> Woo! It just jumped at the thresher. Woo! Woo! Oh yeah! Go baby! Woohoo! <laughs> it just came up out of the water like 10 feet. Oh my goodness. It's going to swim around me now. Can't put the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes again! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is awesome! I've never caught one before. I hope we can get it back in. It's a good size one, too. <laughs> Let me see if I can point you that way. Oh, maybe we can catch them flying. Okay, so he's off to the, the right there. I hope he doesn't cut my line because all I got is mono on the lead. Or did he come off? Did he cut my line? Uh, no, I think he's still there. He's still there. Woohoo! Okay, he's pulling. He's pulling. Let's see. Come on. <laughs> well, if I can get him up here. <laughs> no way. Nice. Pretty big fish. <laughs> Did you see him come up out of the water? Oh my god. Alright, so if he makes a run, stay behind me. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking get right behind you. I'm gonna reel my line and get it out of your way. Okay. Cause they like circling. Yeah. Alright, he's off to the right here. I just hope he doesn't cut my line. Okay, my line's in still. So. <laughs> oh, oh my god. My buddy Nevin is out there towards Muscle Rock. Ugh. He caught one. Oh, he got one? No, he had it up next to the boat. Oh, no shit. And uh, it took off and jumped and splashed him and then cut his line. All right. All right, so we got to play this guy. It may take a while. <laughs> oh, dude, that's epic. He's a big one. <laughs> Five foot. Uh, I, I think so. It looked like he's about five foot. To the fork? 
Yeah. <sighs> Took him on a herring? Yeah. Just trolling a herring. And he hit it and just took off. Let's go, bitches. <laughs> Ugh, come on. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, I hooked up two salmon. Nice. I see the hell that come all the way out of the water, dude. Just keep uh, eating bait. Really? Yeah. I have not. I haven't seen too many halibuts. Water too cold. Ah, uh, 56 and a half. Yeah. It's got to come up. 60 degrees, don't play the whack. It was like that a couple weeks ago. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, dude. I've never caught one before, so let's see if we can yeah, get them in. I, I mean, if I can help you, I, would, I don't know if I can really do it. Um, well, mostly I think what they do is they put a rope around the tail. Yeah. And I don't have any rope. <laughs> you know what? I might. I got no, I didn't bring it. All right, he's going to stay deep, it looks like. Ah. Uh, Oh, dude, that's bitching. <laughs> I've heard about it. I've never witnessed it. <laughs> that was awesome. Three yeah, was, jumps. I mean, I just about went back and <laughs> out of the water, dude. I was fucking watching. Oh, he's a good size one, too, oh, man. man. Oh. Right. Let's wear him out some, because. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's so cool. That is awesome. Let's do oh, this. Dude. That's strong, huh? So it looks like he's going to stay down. He's uh, pulling pretty hard. He's a good size. And uh, yeah, you he's trying to stay out. deep. So we're going to try and wear him out before we bring him up because yeah, he's going to thrash like nobody's business. So <laughs> that is freaking awesome. It has never happened to me before. Uh, yeah, he's not ready to come in yet. <laughs> I can't believe I caught a salmon, dude. I'm just stoked. I don't even care. <laughs> yeah, Nevin, we were down at uh, Shelter Cove. He caught a 30 pounder. Nice. Took him like a half an hour to get that thing in. I can't believe I landed that fish. I, I got bit. My rod snaps in too. Yeah. Like, oh shit! I fucking handlined him in. I mean, running and I'm just uh, through my fingers, you know. Uh, so far, so good. Yeah. This may take us a while. So. Oh, he's pulling again. All right, I'm gonna have to. Oh, he's running. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he dude. just popped up again. I hope oh, that's, that's on so there. Sick, I had dude. the that's camera on. Six feet long, dude. <laughs> oh man. <coughs> this is awesome. Okay, let's grab some line here. He's coming back this way. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, you got a radio on you? No, I don't. Uh, Mine died. Otherwise, I'd call Nevin back. I got a cell phone. Uh, phone number. He's got a phone on him. Yeah, he's got a phone on him. I don't, I'm not sure if it's in my in my phone or not. It might be. Yeah, your buddy saw me hook into a salmon and then I lost it. Yeah, he said it snapped your line. Yeah, and then I hooked another one. <laughs> What do you what line are you using? 30. 30? I had a dick in that, wasn't pulling that hard. Yeah, any frays or any yeah. bad knots or you know how it is. Uh, run it. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he just man. popped up again. I hope oh, that's on man. there. I had the camera on. Six feet long, dude. Woo! 
Oh man. He's right there. We're gonna try and bring him in. Can make fucking bitch in YouTube video. Hell yeah. Nope, not yet. I'm trying to turn. That's fine. He's not ready to come in yet. There. You see that? He's right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right there, but there's nothing you can really do. <laughs> He's still pulling. He's tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I bet you're tired. Oh, Trying to get some feeling back in my fingers from holding on to this rod. So I got, uh, I'm using my uh, custom rod made by Dave's Custom Rods out of Gold Beach. Nice. I got the uh, Komodo SS on the Akuma, which has got 25 pounds worth of drag, which uh, I'm not using that much because I don't want a horse. He's coming towards you. Move, move, move. And uh, I'm using a 50 pound braid to, I think, uh, 30 pound mono as my leader. And there he is. There he is. Look at the green on that tail. That's awesome! I hope that comes out, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, that was so right. epic, dude. Update. We've been out this for probably close to an hour. Uh, got some help from Nevin and help from Mike. Mike. Mike's got a 360 drive, which is keeping me straight. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, he's come up to the service several times uh, this last run. He went straight down towards the bottom and he's been hanging out down there and not wanting to come up. I gain a little bit of line and then he takes it back. So we have a rope so we can hook the tail. We've got a couple of gaffs and we're gonna try and land this uh, beast. This is gonna be totally epic. The most awesome catch of the year if we can get them up. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, these things are so strong. And then uh, we'll figure out how much he weighs and how long he is. But here's hoping we get him in. All right, stick around. And there he is, there he is. Well, bad news. <laughs> Broke me off. <laughs> After all that time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, oh, bummer. All done. We tried and uh, got away. Maybe better luck next time. Man, that was the most epic fish battle I have ever had hooking into a thresher shark. We estimate that from nose to the fork was right around between four and five feet. Um, and then you got that big whip tail on there, which adds a few more feet. I pulled this around and dove. It jumped out of the water half a dozen times, at least five, six feet out of the water. <laughs> it was just amazing. Uh, it's calmed down a little bit out here. The wind's not so much. Um, it's not as choppy. But it definitely did pull us out here um, on the other side of, of the uh, Muscle Rock uh, a little bit far. But that's typical of a big fish like that. You have to try and chase down and pull in. But we figure on one of those big dives that he took to the bottom, he wound up snagging my line on uh, the rocks and then uh, that's how the line uh, got cut or broke. So, 
<clears throat> excuse me. We'll go down here and uh, troll a little bit. Uh, Mike, he wound up getting that salmon. So we'll go down here and see if we can uh, troll for one and get one ourselves. That would be awesome. I wouldn't mind hooking into another thresher, but maybe one not quite so big. <laughs> oh man. I have, that is the longest I ever fought a fish. And it was just amazing. Yeah, uh, just to see the acrobats of a uh, thresher shark coming out of the water that close is phenomenal. Uh, and, memories to be made adventures to be had all right stick around let's see if we catch another or try and catch another well we're gonna call it a day we weren't uh, able to bring any fish but uh, it was still an amazing day got outside got on the water did some fishing Nevin was here met a new guy Mike and uh, we fought that fish for a while and uh, truly amazing but anyways well better luck next time when we get out here on the water we can try again try and catch us a nice uh, big fish but uh, for now uh, get out there have yourself your own adventure and uh, don't forget, wherever you go and whatever you do, have fun. <laughs> as long as it's legal. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Make a comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time. Laters.